start with the name of Allah Almighty, who is the most merciful and the most beneficent. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to our presentation on the remarkable project titled Development of Geopolymer Concrete at Ambient Temperature. We are a dedicated group of individuals consisting of Hamad Ali Shahzad, Rizwan Ullah, and Muhammad Israr. Under the guidance and supervision of Eng Shahzadi Iram, we embarked on this journey to explore the possibilities of geopolymer concrete. Welcome to our final year project presentation. Our project focuses on developing high-strength geopolymer concrete at ambient temperature. By replacing OPC with fly ash, GGBFS, and alkaline solutions, we achieve 37 MPA strength at hot curing and 30 MPA strength at ambient curing with optimal AB ratio and SP content. Geopolymer concrete is an innovative alternative that replaces traditional Portland cement with geopolymer binders, offering enhanced compressive strength. The main constituents of geopolymers are source materials, aluminosilicate, and alkaline liquids such as sodium hydroxide and sodium silicate, providing a sustainable and eco-friendly concrete. Problem we are focusing on. Cement production emits 2.5 billion tons of CO2 annually, making it environmentally unfriendly. Geopolymer concrete requires specialized curing methods, for example, electric oven, temperature 60 degrees C, 70 degrees C, which is definitely not possible on construction site. So there are two main objectives of this project. Objective one, development of fly ash slash GGBFS based geopolymer concrete. And the second objective is achievement of compressive strength at ambient temperature. Our project idea is to eliminate heat curing of fly ash and GGBFS based concrete with the desired mechanical properties at ambient temperature. Environmentally friendly, formation of green concrete with no pollution is the second key feature of this project. In our mixture design, we had partially replaced the fly ash with GGBFS as the binder. On the other hand, alkaline activator consisted of a blend of sodium hydroxide and sodium silicate, along with the fly ash plus GGBFS and alkaline binder ratios 0.4-0.5. Super plasticizer SP ratios had used with the quantity of 2.5%, 5%, 5.5%. This is the basic geopolymer concrete mix design having all the quantities. For example, mass of total binder is 400 kilograms per cubic meter, mass of additive 40 kg slash M3, and then mass of fly ash, ratio Na2 SiO3 to NaOH solution, etc. There are some factors affecting the workability and compressive strength of geopolymer concrete. First of all, alkaline binder ratios. So alkaline binder ratio is directly proportional to workability, which means increasing the alkaline binder ratios will increases the workability. However, alkaline binder ratios inversely proportional compressive strength means increasing the alkaline binder ratios will decrease the compressive strength. Second factor is molarity of sodium hydroxide. So molarity of sodium hydroxide is directly proportional to compressive strength which means increasing the molarity of sodium hydroxide will increases the compressive strength. However, molarity of sodium hydroxide inversely proportional to workability that means increasing the molarity of sodium hydroxide will decrease the workability. Third factor is superplasticizer to binder ratio. So superplasticizer ratio is directly proportional to workability, which means increasing the superplasticizer ratio will increases the workability. However, superplasticizer ratio is inversely proportional to strength. That means increasing the superplasticizer ratio will decrease the strength. Here are the values evaluates from of sample casting and their tests results. At superplasticizer ratio 0 and 2.5% and alkaline binder ratio of 0.4 and 0.5. Here are the few glimpses of the practical performance of geopolymer concrete such as casting and molding, slump test, mortar molding and slump, etc. In conclusion, our project has made significant progress in developing geopolymer concrete with high compressive strength and workability at ambient temperature. Through our research on geopolymer binders and mixed design optimization, we have achieved promising results in terms of mortar strength. While the project is nearing completion, ongoing experiments aim to provide concrete results. By incorporating GGBFS to eliminate the need for heat curing, we anticipate achieving desirable mechanical properties at ambient temperatures. The reference contains the details about the main idea, previous research work. The main idea was proposed by the Hargito, 2005, Rangan, 2008, 
and research by Ph.D. Thesis, 2015 Nath Flyash, GGBFS Geopolymer Concrete Reference Thesis. We would like to express our heartfelt gratitude to everyone who supported us throughout this journey, especially our supervisor engineer Shahzadi Iram and co-supervisor Dr. Hamad Salahuddin. Thank you for your unwavering encouragement and guidance.